Hi, welcome to Cowtown Color Works. I'm Lori, otherwise known as My Cat Pearl on Instagram and Ravelry. I'm coming to you from my craft mecca basement, work studio, TV watching space when I'm down here. Today is Sunday, November 8th. This is episode 11. I've got a lot today. I'm very busy. Very productive, I guess I would say. Sorry, my computer's in this weird, like, blue boxy thing. I don't know. Anyway, I've got some finished objects, some works in progress, some other crafty stuff I've been working on, and what's going on in Ohio? Um, what's going on in Ohio? Not a whole lot. I've been busy taking care of my mom. Hopefully we'll be done with this soon, and then she'll be on the road to recovery. Um, next weekend we're going, my mom, my niece, and I are going to have some family pictures taken. Kind of excited about that. Do a little three-generational type stuff up in um, the Kent, Akron area. It's really pretty, and I'm kind of excited to get to go see my friends, uh, Terry, who's going to be the photographer of Terry Lynn Photography. I just named you Terry, sorry. Um, but it's true. And she's really good. On that Sunday, on Saturday, we have at the convention center a sh craft show. It's called the Crafton Outlaws. And as best as I can see, I've never been before, and I'm kind of excited. Um, it's not your traditional church bazaar. I think there's some more different types of crafts. So, so I'm really excited about that. Now, I know haberdashery, yarn it and haberdashery is my local, one of my local yarn stores. They'll be there, so I'm excited to see what they have for yarn and any type of projects they may be doing. I know they're doing something with pom-poms, like a make-and-take kind of crafty thing. Which I'm excited because I think I'm going to make some pom-pom garland this year. Use up some cheap yarn. So that's definitely coming up. Um, other than that, I mean, nothing really exciting in my life. I have a soup contest at work. We do this little competitions. Um, last month, we... No, the month before, we brought in all the flavors of Lay's, and everybody tasted them and voted on our favorite. Then last month, we brought in nine flavors of the Oreos, and we all voted on those, which one was our favorite? The mint one, because they darn tootin' tasted like some Thin Mints. They were delicious. Um, I like the pumpkin. I don't care for the fruity Oreos, like the berries and the, the lemon was okay, but the berries I'm not real fond of. Anyway, so tomorrow is my soup day, and I am making a coconut lime Thai curry chicken rice noodle soup. I don't know, it's a Pinterest recipe, but it was really good. Um, it has an ingredient entitled fish sauce, which kind of scared me, I'm not going to lie. I smelled it, and it was fish. Um, but it was tasty. Add a little soy sauce, added some other stuff, lots of uh, lime, lime zest, sauteed chicken, rice noodles. Fun. It's in the crock pot right now. Getting cold in the fridge. I'll bring it tomorrow. And that'll be exciting. And speaking of work, I brought my bags that I sewed to work Friday. Sold a couple to some of my coworkers. They had asked had been asking to see them. So I did that, brought it in. It was a fun time. So they enjoyed that. It's getting cooler. Okay, I take that back. It is getting cooler cooler at night. It's this weird temperature thing that's like, there was frost on my car this morning, and it's 70 this afternoon, so I want to wear shorts. It's weird. I, I, this is not my favorite time of year. I just want to get dressed. I don't want the pressure of, uh, what am I wearing? I either want to wear for warm weather or cold weather. And right now, ooh, crazy here. We have a little bit of both. So, it's nice. I'm enjoying it while I can, although I really want to get the fireplace going. But, we'll have to wait and see. Other than that, nothing really too exciting going on in my life. I think I might be boring. Everybody that, uh, the crews I was supposed to come on, they're coming back today. I didn't get to do that, obviously, but I do have a trip planned in April. We're going to go to Punta Cana with my cousins and my best friends and I and have a week vacation there. So it's good. It's just not the cruise. But I'm, I'm okay with that. I am. All right, well, let's see. I have not one, but two. Two finished objects. I guess technically it's three. You'll see. Anyway, I finished this scarf, The Fog. Oh, that's really good representation of the colors. 
kind of like the darky browny gray. Obviously, I have not woven in my engine. Um, I was going to use this for my winter scarf. Oh, fiber. But my mom really likes it, so I'll give it to her for Christmas. I can always make another one. And I think I might have ordered some other gray yarn to make another one. So <laughs> I'll just make another one. But she likes it, and she'll wear it. So I'll give it to her. And it's, I don't know if you can see the texture. I did the seed stitch, and it's super squishy. Oh, it's going to be so warm and cozy. I need to soak it and block it. It doesn't smell foul, but, you know, your hands are dirty, and you're dragging it from here to hoe. I mean, I knit on this same thing everywhere. So I'll wash it. Uh, maybe I'll just lay it out to dry, weave in my ends. Call it a day. Maybe she'll get a button. I don't know. Maybe not. So that's for my mom. And then I did finish the tiny tot leg warmers. Now, <laughs> I promise you it's the same yarn, but I got a cooling issue and they look different. So now I don't know if I want to make another one. I mean, she's eight. Is there going to be all scrunched up? You think she'll notice? I don't know. Well, I guess I could ask her mom. I mean, the colors are obviously the same. It's just the pattern. I mean, if it was for me, absolutely would I be doing it because my OCD would not allow this to happen. Uh-uh. But I don't have to look at the kid. Love her dearly, but she doesn't live with me, so I won't see it. And quite frankly, she's eight. She'll probably wear one. So we'll see. I may end up making another pair, who knows, another, at least one more, and whichever one it matches gets to have it. I mean, it's, I have plenty of yarn, it's not a big deal. And they actually, I knit one, complete one, start to finish, it's a little longer than the other two, start to finish um, while my mom was having chemo last week. So we get there around 1, 1 1.30, and it was a really long day, she had to have some other, some other fluids and things, so we were there till. ooh, there was a fly. We were there until 8.30 at night, I want to say. So I start to finish, got a whole one done, which was great because I got to finish it. What am I working on? So I got some fin works in progress. I've jumped on a couple bandwagons. I haven't started one. So I guess it's an upcoming project. I ordered the yarn for it, and it's the Bobble Hat, B-A-A, B-O-E. Um... I think it literally everybody in America has made one but me. So it's the one with the sheet dancing around it. And it'll be my first traditional or technical color work hat as far as, you know, holding multiple skeins of yarn. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but it is, you know, it's a hat, so I feel like it's manageable. Um, yeah, so and I got, what did I do? Cream for the sheep and black. Then the bottom is going to be grass green. Please, the sheeps are walking in the grass. And the top is this like indigo heather purple color. Super pretty. And then you make a pom pom. And who does not love a pom pom? Because I do love some pom poms. So that's coming up. Um, and then, okay, my cats, I don't know what it is with them, but they love laying on my project bags. This is the one I made a while back. I, I really, apparently, I have a thing for Dr. Seuss. I didn't know I did. But I do. It's the colors. It's Dr. Seuss. Come on, give me a break. Okay, anyway. So today, I'm going to cast on my very first ever mystery knit along. And it's the West Knit Doodler. Oops. Can't really show you that. There. The Doodler. This is my first clue and my first ever. Ooh better. My first ever knit along. I'm so excited. Um, and then, you know, right out the gate, I'm learning some stuff I've never done before. So you need three colors for it. My little, I'm not sure if I'll need them or not. Just them so I chose as the main, and it's not quite, the main color, this. It's Knit Pick. Super, super colorful, but it's like jewel tone colors, which is my super ever favorite. Um, Stroll, hand-painted, fingering weight yarn in the County Fair color work, colorway. That looks really good. I'm getting some good color representation here this afternoon. So there's, you know, obviously you can see the yellows, the greens, the purples. So then my two accents, I'm going to use the autumn gold that I made. So these are my yarns, and this green. 
and I feel like that is just going to be super, super fun. This top one, I'm not sure if I'm giving a good color with it. Yeah, that's okay. It's um, it's a kind of a Kelly green, but it's very tonal. There you go. You can see some of the tonality in it. And then this one is just all kinds of shades of yellow and, and gold. Yellow and goldy, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's a little more orange than it's showing up here. But anyway, so I feel like this is going to be super fun. It's a lot of yarn, too. I'm not sure that I'm going to get it done on the pace that they're putting out the um, the clues. They're going to go out every Friday, and clearly I haven't even cast on yet. And the first clue, I'm a little intimidated, I'm not going to lie, is two and a half pages long. That's a lot of directions for one week for me. Because, you know, I work and I have other stuff going on. But, anyway, so that is I'm casting it on today. Yes, I am. Okay, what else have I been working on? I haven't, oh, sorry. I've been working on some other stuff as well. Um, the other, now this one here, this is in one of my bags that I just updated in the shop. You can't get to see a glare on it. It is, I a glare off of here. Okay, well, that's not going to work. It's um, white background with silver, like filigreed ornaments. I'm going to turn the light a little bit up here. I have some overhead lighting. Some overhead lighting to try to, it's a little dark. It doesn't feel dark, but it records kind of dark. Oh, there we go. There you go. And it's got this silver filigree there. That looks super on it. It just it just screamed Christmas to me. So of course I put a snowflake stitch marker on it. And then the inside, the zipper is obviously red. And so is the inside. Now I kept this one because my label didn't stay. I must have slipped when I was stitching the seam. So it was like half on, half off and I'm not I'm not messing with that. So I just cut it off all the way. I know I made it. I don't need a label to tell me. So I'm just using it. I mean, that's just how I get half my bags. They're either prototypes or there was an error, some type of an issue, and I needed to keep it. So I did. So I cast on... Let me put the directions while I have it in here. What's going on in here? Oh. <laughs> this is the Babel, which is a free... I'll digress here for a second. It is a free pattern... I believe the Shetland Wool Week put it out. So it's a, just go to the link in Ravelry. It's free. You download it. It gives you several different patterns. But this is the hat. So cute. I need to print it in color, obviously, because I need to be able to do the chart. And that's it. That's the chart right there. I feel like I can incorporate these sheep into something else. Like, let's make something with sheep. I think. Ooh. I could totally make a coffee cozy with some sheep on it. For like one of those tall coffee cups. Because this is just it. If I just do it here, you know, the grass. Don't I don't need to worry about the hat creases, but that would be super cute. But I need to leave this away out because I um I don't have the yarn yet. I just ordered it. Now, what I am doing, and I think Heidi was knitting it. Yeah, she's knitting it. This is called the Darjeeling Shawl by Joanne. I'm sorry if I messed up her name. Forgion, F-O-R-G-I-O-N-E. And it was printed in the Interweave Knit Spring 2013. A pattern. And it doesn't give you any really good look because it's not in color. Again, I try not to waste my color. But what it is, is the center is knit, and then there's two applied borders. Two, not one, two. I'm going to kill this fly. Two applied borders. Um, so I've started it off in, this is Knit Picks, um, Fingering Weight. I know there's a color because I always say this when I pick it up. I think it's green. Oh, potion. 
is the name. I hope you can see. Oh, you still can. All oh, this, it's, it's got some Stellina, maybe? I'm not sure if that is Stellina. Yes, it's Stellina. I did some super nice Stellina. This stuff, let me tell you, it sparkles. So I'm going to do the center in this green. Oh. And then the first applied border, I'm going to do in white. So that'll be down here in the first lace applied border. And then... And that is same white glimmer, um, stroll glimmer. This is all stroll glimmer. And then the last one is going to be done in this pomegranate, which is really a burgundy kind of red, but I kind of liked it. It looks Christmassy enough to me. And it's called pomegranate. And it's also in the stroll glimmer, fingering weight. So it's all 70%, super fine. No, strike that. 70% fine superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, 5% selena. Um, using a size 6 needle. That's what gets the gauge that I like. You know, the drape. I enjoy the drape. So I, in, if it calls for fingering weight yarn, um, 9 times out of 10. Let me make sure this is sick before I go lying to everybody all the time. Yeah. These are my Chagu Red Lace. I love them. I want like. 10 of every size and every length cord. I love the needle. I love the point. It's just slippery enough. Perfect. Perfection. I love these needles. Ugh, I need more. Um, anyway, so I like the drape that I get somehow. I got a hole. I don't know. I need to stop dropping my yarn. I think it was probably the yarn with this front. I'll fix it later. Um, yeah, so I'm probably... Halfway, maybe halfway to getting, I think. So it calls for a standard bind off and then picking up, you know, you pick them up on the edges here, these loops. I'm not going to give it all away because it is a paid for. I, I got to figure that out. Is it a paid for if it's in a magazine? I mean, I guess so because I paid for it on Ravelry. Um, but there's loops, picking up the loops. So when I bind off the top, I'll bind off. Calls for a standard, but I feel like I want to use something a little more stretchy. So I need to do some investigation on different bind off techniques that gives me a little more stretch. Um, I do like a longer shawl. I like to be able to wrap it once, maybe twice. Um, so I need to stretch your bind off because it's going to impede how much I can block it. So that's been getting some love, usually at night while I'm watching TV or something, because it's honestly, it's just knitting right now. I mean, it's just straight up knitting. Um, my mug today is the Cafe du Monde from New Orleans. Love, love, love. If you ever New Orleans, a little bit of chicory coffee and a beignet. So good. So good. And then across the street, there's a grocery store. It's called the General Grocer. And you need to get a, what's it called? A mufalada is the name of the sandwich. Holy macaroni. It is I remember because it was years ago a legit loaf of bread cut it in half I want to say to take out the bread they fill it full of all kinds of lunch deli meats Italian meats and then on top is an olive salad and they smoosh it and wrap it and it is delicious delicious love it sorry the mug made me think about it um, what makes me super happy is that my, I have a grocery store here in Columbus called the Andersons and they actually sell the beignet mix, which I'm trying to eat a little healthier than that because what a beignet is, is fried dough with literally a pound of powdered sugar on it. Oh, it comes right out of the fryer. They put them in a container, like a little cardboard box thingy and they throw powdered sugar on it and it's the oil from the fryer makes that, oh. And they just bring it to your table. And you are the nastiest hot mess when you leave there. Powdered sugar everywhere. And the coffee is made. It's chicory. There's actually chicory in the coffee. So you brew it. It's a kind of bitter coffee. And then you mix it with hot steamed milk like a latte. And that's how they serve it. Oh. But I could buy the coffee here. Brew it. Heat up a little steamed milk. I might as well be in Nolan. I do love New Orleans. Uh, what am I working on here? This is my Drake and Fall. 
I'm really trying to get this done, but again, I'm at the point of just back and forth. The excitement is kind of over. All the striping has happened. It's going to happen. Another, well, I lied. I'm doing a lot of that today. There'll be one more of this section on the bind off end. So one more, which is kind of interesting. Um, I just sometimes, I'm not going to lie. I, I guess I am going to do that, apparently. I look at something like this. I created this. I did this with my hands. Sometimes it just surprises me that I can take some yarn and make something so pretty. And I every every project I pick up, I feel like I'm learning a new technique or something or taking things that I already know but doing it in a different way that creates a piece that I've never dreamed I could make. It just it just excites me. So that's where I'm at. I just want to put this on something too. I love this. So up here I'm at the red, and honestly, I need to do 20 ridges. That's what it's called, down and back is a ridge. 20 ridges, and then I do this super sassy stitch, a couple more red, and I bind off. And I'm at, I only have eight ridges done, so maybe almost halfway. So I'm going to work on that as well. I'm trying to kind of do the... I want to get the Christmas shawl done. I'm taking my little cousins to the um, Broadway across America to see the Grinch on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So I only have a couple weeks. It may not get done. And if it doesn't, that's okay. I really would love for it to get done. I just think it would be really fun to wear. Now this, uh, the pattern I'm working on is the Drakenfels. D-R-A-C-H-E-N-F-E-L-S by Melanie Berg. And I got this on Crafty. So is there one of those? Oh, there's several of those rows. I lied again. Oh, I need to work on that. There's several decorative rows on the end of it. So I'm kind of working on this, you know, in between. In between who knows what. Just because I get bored or I get this pattern away. If I don't keep them with their projects, I'll be in trouble. I get kind of crazy when it comes to um, boredom. Although I also get a little crazy when it comes to having too many whips. So, although I only have these and then a couple pair of socks that I have kind of abandoned for now. I feel like socks are my summer knitting, which is totally weird because I don't wear socks in the summer. But they're so tiny and I can take them and I don't get hot and sweaty. Now, and then I have my vest, which I'm waiting on a new set of needles. I can't handle the needles that I have on this. Now, sorry. This pattern has been my nemesis for I can't tell you a year, better part of a year. I literally bought the yarn. I was making it for my cousin. I think the last year for Christmas. They're the Button Up Boot Socks by Amy Polson, P O L C Y N. And they were in a magazine. I love knitting. The love of knitting winter of 2014. Yeah, it's been a year. And they're totally cute. Love them. I need a better picture. I don't know what the magazine is. I don't know what I do with the magazine. Sorry. I thought, I thought it might be behind me, but it's not. I'll show you the pattern in a second. But I have sorry, cast on, ripped out, cast on, ripped out, cast on, ripped out 500 times. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but I feel like it. <laughs> it legit feels like it. And it's, the pattern is you work it in flat, and then you pick up a button band, you pick up a connector band, and then you do the heel. Connect it in the round. And then you work in the round. Well, I kept messing up the connection, the button band, what direction I was going. I would lose the pattern, like where I was in the pattern when I was ready to, um, you know, connect it, and then I messed up the heel. Somehow I got into my head that I did the decreases on the, on, not on the instep side, but on the back side by the heel. I have no idea. So I ripped it out through, got rid of the yarn, I'm like, I'm done. It wasn't the yarn, I wasn't happy with it anyway, so I was done. I stopped shopping a few weeks ago, and I found the yarn that I wanted originally. 
the color of the yarn, um, which is this raspberry. I think that's, uh, yeah, it's more this, I think. Maybe, maybe here. Anyway, it's a raspberry colorway, and it's actually called... Biscayne is the name of the color. Now, it is 100% acrylic. It's um, Lion Brand's Heartland Collection. And I don't, I don't mind that it's 100% acrylic. Um, it slippers. She wants to throw them in the wash, throw them in the wash. She's got dogs, she's got kids. Does not need to be worrying about slippers. So, 100% acrylic. This time through, I decided I'm going to knit it in the round. I'm not going to attach a button band. I'm just going to put the sew the buttons on that I had for it and have them be faux but just buttons. I'm just going to sew them on down the sides. This pattern, I hope you can see it in here, is so pretty. And I just love it. But I really like the stitch definition that I'm getting here um, with this acrylic yarn. Super pretty. Um, got my heel done. I'm working on knitting out the front. I'm probably going to block them just to get a better you know, stitch definition. I mean, there's some bumps. Um, these are twisted stitches. It's not cabling. So it's fun. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. And it's a worsted weight product. So last week I got in the hot while we were doing chemo, I only got about half jump, but it's a little slower going. So right now I'm only doing the pattern on the top, not in the bottom. So I felt like that would be hard on your feet to walk on. So one sock, almost done. Almost. And I've got, I don't, another problem is she wears a size six shoe. I do not wear a size six shoe. So I have to figure out how many inches is a size six shoe. Who knows? All right. Those are all my works in progress. I have some side crafts. So, as I said, apparently we're, I'm obsessed with Dr. Who, Dr. Seuss. Um, and apparently so is my niece because she wanted a bag. So I made her one. With her inside, she picked out some teal, sort of wavy chevron-y type things. And then we found these beads, which match perfectly on clearance. It was, <laughs> it came just like that, other than I put a new ribbon on it. It was a set that you get, I like Joanne's Hobby Lobby, that they come and they're just wide beads and you can do with it whatever you want. But anyway, we made a zipper pull. That's what she asked for, for her zipper pull. And that's her bag. And it's pretty big, um, pretty big. The bottom, I kind of made it a little wider for her, but I didn't make it too wide. Um, she's going to put her sweater in it, so it's a sweater size project bag for her. So it's pretty big, but that's what she wants. So, or maybe she's putting crap or school stuff because sometimes I don't know what she's doing with it. And then my other piece de resistance. Didn't know I was bilingual, did you? Yeah. Okay. Um, I loved the Grinch fabric, and I love Christmas. I'll just tell you now, I am possibly, possibly obsessed with Christmas. And I decided that I needed for my bed this year a Grinch pillowcases, a set of Grinch pillowcases. So we have the Grinch here. The whole fabric is green with the Grinch. But if you look at the hem end, it's Whoville. Oh, yes, it is Whoville. And because I told you I might be slightly crazy. Okay, I'm very crazy. But anyway, I made them directional. So this pillowcase, the Grinches are all upright, and Whoville is all upright, and it goes on that side of my bed. And on this pillowcase, the Grinches are all upright, and Whoville is all upright, and it goes on this side of my bed. So when they're on my bed, these will be my shams, so I won't have all my big flowery pillows for the Christmas holidays. And I bought a, I went to Ikea. If you've never been to Ikea, you need to go to Ikea. It's fabulous. Um, I bought a duvet cover for my featherless down, and it's red and white stripes. And it goes underneath my dump, my regular comforter, so I'm not really too concerned about it. I thought it was cute, and I thought it would be perfect for Christmas. 
which it will be. So what I'll do at Christmas time is switch them. I'll put the featherless down on top with the red and white. It's like a Norwegian kind of design in it, but it, the end result is it looks red and white with a little green. And then I'll put my Grinch pillowcases, and there might be a Whoville small decorative pillows in my future. I don't know. I love Christmas. And I want my room to be all kinds of festive and happy and fall off. See? That is true. Um, I have started Christmas shopping. I've actually got a good fair bit of Christmas shopping done. Um, did for my mom, my niece, we have some extended family. The kids. My kids in Florida, I think I'm sending gift cards to this year. Normally we would shop, buy presents and shit, but I'm, you know, with my mom not well and feeling well right now and the radiation is really dragging her down. And their kids are getting that age, that crazy age where I have no idea. And there's a boy child. I know all about girls. I have nieces. Uh, they grew up with me. I know all about them. Crafting and fun and boy children scare me. I don't know what they like. I don't know what they do. So it's hard to shop, especially for an boy that I don't know very well. I definitely, you know, they live in Florida and I live here. So I told my niece, um, I was just sending the kids gift cards. I'm not sending them some like stocky me stuff too, but I'll send them gift cards and then they can go after Christmas shopping. They're old enough to understand that. And then the little cousins, obviously I'm taking them to see the Grinch. So that's their Christmas present. And then we do, um, cousin craft night where we get together and we frost cookies we make crafts the kids have fun my niece comes down from she lives about an hour and a half from here and we go to somebody's house and just kind of have a cousin's cookies and crafts it's a fun time i'll share some of my pinterest ideas with you on a future episode but i think i'm done i've hit the 30 minute mark and i don't want to bore everybody to death oh but i did just ship off some prizes to tish with uh southern girl knits in Arkansas for her podcast and I love it I love she loves yarn she's a happy upbeat person she makes me happy when I watch her even if I'm not feeling so happy check her out if you haven't and if you have maybe I'm late to the party and everybody knows about it in the world who knows but have a great week happy knitting and I'll talk to you again soon bye